What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome for the first Photoshop tutorial of the day. In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make, you know, how to add text to an image. So let's say you have a nice picture and you want to have like some cool text with some effects on it. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So I would say let's jump straight into the actual video. All right, guys. So we're on Photoshop right now. And as you guys can see, I'm going to use my um, Sony Vegas Pro thumbnail template for this. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how to add text to it. So let's say I want to have like a new thumbnail. And let's say I'm going to um, subscribe to just Alex Alpha. What you should do to... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to, well, the first the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to this text icon. This is so freaking obvious, guys, but people are asking for it. Don't ask me why. So uh, once you click the T icon, you just want to press somewhere and, and again, and then, and then boom, you want to just click. Now you can time something. So I'm just going to say, let's see, um, subscribe. And I'm going to, as you guys can see right now, it is not that visible. So I'm just going to put the layer on top of everything. Now that we have our text right here, we're going to make it bigger. Um, so by selecting everything and we're going to go towards, uh, like, you know, at the, at the top, you want to, let's say, like, pick 72. That's a little smaller. So let's say I'm going to pick 150, 230. Yeah, 230 is good. Okay, so now that we have our text right here and also resize it a bit, this is basically how you add text to an image. Just click the T icon, press somewhere, and go ahead and type. So what, I, what you can do also, I'm just going to show you guys how to, you know, how to add some, like, you know, extra effects. So basically, now that we have our text right here, we're just going to add some effects to it also to show you guys how to do it. So you want to right click on your layer, that one, and then we just want to click on settings right there. And we see our little box right here. And what you want to do is you want to click on stroke. It says, it says line, it's in Dutch, but you want to click on stroke. And as you guys can see, they're starting to appear like a black line around my text. So that's basically like a, like a nice outline you can have right there. So I would say like this one looks well. But for this, you know, um, for this kind of thumbnail, I want to have like a like a gradient, like from going to, you know, from bright to dark in the words. So what you we can you can also put like color overlay that you can choose like a certain color, like you, you can choose any color you like, as you can see. And uh, but I'm just going to use a gradient overlay. So I'm going to check mark this one. And as you guys can see, this is one of my gray presets, but I'm just going to, as you guys can see, you just want to click on this one first. Then you see this color bar, and that's basically what you can see in your text. So I'm going to click on that, boom. And then, you know, it opens up this, you know, this box. And here you can choose what kind of uh, presets you like. You have like a ton of them already. Um, but I'm just going to create well, like one myself. So I'm going to pick, let's say, I'm going to start off with this one, boom. Then I want to have the bottom of the text dark. So I'm going to click on this little icon, boom. Then I click on this one so we can choose the color. And then I would say, let's pick this dark blue. That looks great. Boom. But now we have like an orange top. So you do want to click on this, um, on like on the orange one. Click also on the, you know, on the, on, on the little rectangle. And then you just want to pick a color that's like nice and bright. So I'm going to like pick this one. Boom. And I think that's not that's not, that's not bright enough. Let's pick this one. This one looks great. This one is this one looks bright enough. That's what I always use actually, like this. So basically, right now, as you guys can see, we have like a nice overlay and like you know from going from bright to dark. Of course, you can choose a distance. You can just drag those markers to each other. And as you guys can see, to the text, it's starting to be really, you know, thin. And like the longer you stretch it, like the bigger the gradient is, as you can see right now, uh, which I do right. Boom, so as you guys can see, so this is basically how you add text to your image, guys. It's really simple. And I just want to click on OK, click on OK, boom. And let's say we want to have the exact same thing. We're not going to type, you know, subscribe, do all the colors again. Just duplicate this one. So right click, duplicate, and then boom, we have the same word. And then we can pick different text. So it saves a lot of time picking the stroke again, picking all the colors again. So I'm just going to type in just Alex Halford. But as you guys can see, it doesn't fit on there. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm, let's start off with 100. Let's see how that goes. That's a little bit too small. 120, 150. 150 that looks great okay so boom now click on this check mark and now we have both words but what I, what I always do to make like a word stand out like what the video is about I'm gonna add like a like an orange gradient so I'm gonna right click on my text of my just Alex Alfred text now I'm gonna go back to my uh, uh, gradient click on this you know on this bar but you want to I'm, I'm always picking like this one like this orange one boom and you guys are actually related to this like if I click on okay and okay you guys are used to those kind of thumbnails you know how to do tutorial this and that and then basically like the court in, in the corner I have like the number and of the tutorials I would say like 98 or something and I just put that one in the corner 
as you guys can see, I just put some awesome text on it, some 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 effects, and that's basically how you add text and how to customize it as well, guys, all in one video. So basically, that's how simple it is, guys. And there's nothing more to there's nothing more to tell you guys. That's basically how simple it is. So that's basically how simple it is, guys. That's how you add text to an image. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to keep an eye on my channel because I have like in one hour I have one video coming up, like you know, like showing my new intro that I'm going to use from tomorrow on all the videos from tomorrow, and then in the future we're gonna have that new intro. Uh, so nothing like more like you know like the, the template and everything everything is gone it's gonna be like really epic and also make sure to check out my channel in two hours from now for the last video of today the last photoshop tutorial thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in one hour it's me again um i know i have i haven't uploaded a video of, uh, for a while on this channel you know all the kind of movies was a great actor uh, the past several months um basically uh some of you may know uh, that i'm a partner media crowd let me explain this on the comment section down below so i'm just gonna uh, put this completely random thank you guys and i'll see you guys next week